Hello, I'm Dr. Derek Keats, a former professor of biology, and today we've moved on to, in the topic, um, responding to the environment in plants, and we're going to examine the subject of plant defense mechanisms, and specifically looking at chemicals and thorns. Now, plants often come under attack. There are herbivores aplenty that want to eat them, big ones such as elephants, kudu, and domestic cattle, and small ones, plenty of insects that want to eat them. In the sea, come with me into the sea, where there are herbivores such as the spiny sea urchin and limpets that live on the seashore. Now, it's not always possible to see the effects that these herbivores have, but in this experiment, we remove the limpets from the seashore in these little squares, and you can see that green plants grew back, and you can imagine the pressure on plants to protect themselves from herbivores. Then there are pathogens, viruses, and other kinds of pathogens, such as the well-known tobacco mosaic virus. These also attack plants. <clears throat> so how do plants protect themselves from all these threats? Well, there are three ways. There are structural defenses, there are chemical defenses, and there is the shedding of damaged or, effective or infected tissue that the plants can do. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to look at the first two, structural defense and chemical defense. Let's start with chemical defense. Do you know the Mopani tree? Cyclophosperma Mopani. It's common in South Africa in the low felt, and a healthy, uh, a healthy uh, Mopani woodland is a beautiful, beautiful place to walk around in. But elephants and other browsers also eat Mopani. And in extreme circumstances, Mopa Mopani forests can be devastated by excessive elephant browsing. But under normal circumstances, Mopani does have some defense. It produces tannins, chemicals called tannins, that are in higher quant quantities in the leaves in response to damage by browsers, as well as to certain seasonal changes. So that's a simple example. <clears throat> but now come with me to Fiji, where I lived for a year and did some research. Come dive with me in the water there, because in the coral reefs of the Pacific Ocean, there is a green seaweed called Chlorodesmus, and it produces toxic chemicals that prevent certain herbivores from grazing on it. Now there is a small crab. Can you see the small crab in the bottom middle of that picture? There's a small crab, uh, Caffra rotundifrons, which is adapted to take advantage of the protection offered by Chlorodesmus. And taken out of their Chlorodesmus patch, these crabs are quickly eaten by fish. So chemical defense is not only good for the plant, but other organisms also can benefit from it. Now let's look at structural defense. You've all seen spines and uh, or thorns and spines or thorns are among the most common forms of structural defense and they exist throughout the plant kingdom. Lots of plants have thorns like this uh, Euphorbia eucuniensis and this Natal plum which has got a very different kind of thorn altogether. Now, there's a really good example of this, and it's often used in textbooks, and that is uh, the paper bark thorn tree, Acacia siberiana. It's found in woodland, wooded grassland, and along riverbanks in South Africa, and in many other parts of Africa. And there is one just down the street from where I live, so I managed to take this picture of it. Now, its bark is very loose and papery, so it's easy to recognize if you see one. Its branches have some pretty nasty thorns on them. But even so, giraffe like to eat them. And there's an interesting case study for you based on the work of some researchers in South Africa. You will find it on the e-learning platform in the page following this video. Now, paper bark thorn trees also contain tannins and um, the poisonous prussic acid. And, and that's especially found in the seed pods. So it's not only structurally defended, it probably also has some chemical defense as well, and you will look at that in the case study. 
Some plants combine structural and chemical defense. Usually it's pretty subtle, but in the euphorbias, such as this euphorbia bote, uh, there are spines aplenty, and the plants produce uh, milky white sap that is not only poisonous, it can burn the skin. In fact, people sometimes uh, smear it on their skins so that they look ill if they want to go begging. Uh, they look more, more ill and people uh, are more likely to give them money. But this stuff is toxic and if you get it in your eyes, it's nasty stuff. So these euphorbias have both pretty strong chemical defense as well as a strong physical defense from their thorns or spines. Now we've pretty much covered what you need to know for the South African grade 12 syllabus on this subject. If you want to take it further, you can go to Google or another search engine and look for terms like chemical defense, structural defense, paper bark acacia, euphorbia, uh, etc. Anything that we've talked about. You can look for videos on YouTube. There are a few. I've seen them. Of course, you can al always go to the library and do a bit of reading. And if you find something good, please do put it up on the wiki. That's all for now. I'm Derek Keats, and this resource is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution license.